If my research is correct, this altar must have been constructed by the Brotherhood of Eagles centuries ago. To think that such mighty works have been sitting here gathering dust for all these years. Had those meddling students not attempted to finish what the Eagles started, their portal to oblivion might still be functional, and the Black Frost Fall might never have occurred. Archmage Fingol certainly put a stop to those plans. Legends say that after the Archmage closed the portal, he confiscated the sigil stone that powered it, rendering this altar useless and inert. If I am ever to reactivate the portal and enter oblivion, I must first recover this arcane sigil. Fortunately for me, it appears that Thingol was unable or unwilling to destroy the arcane sigil and carried it with him for safekeeping till the end of his days. It is even said that the sigil was buried alongside him, in secret, somewhere beneath the college. I should search the midden catacombs for this hidden tomb. If the arcane sigil is anywhere to be found, it will be there among the bones of the Archmages.
take whatever you need. And away we go. frustrating research project I've ever been involved in. I can see why no one else has attempted to write a definitive account of the college's history before. This institution has been seemingly content to build on top of itself for thousands of years, burying its past under an endless parade of renovations, expansions, and demolitions. Its record keeping is just as jumbled as its architecture. The chronology of college leadership remains hopelessly tangled. Even the timeline of the fourth era appears to be incomplete and, in some cases, deliberately obscure. Take Archmage Thingle, for example. Conflicting sources cite him as the 96th or 97th Archmage of the College. If I could find his tomb, I could easily lay the matter to rest. But Thingle's tomb simply isn't here. It should be located next to Archmage Boros Fairwind, his predecessor, but all I see is a blank wall. Maybe Sados can shed some light on this mystery. This project is his brainchild, after all. Regardless, I hope that I can find an answer soon. This place give me the creeps, and I can see why few people ever come down here. The Midman certainly lives up to its name. This place is a veritable dustbin of magical history. The bedrock beneath the college is almost entirely hollowed out in ways that defy the very laws of geometry. I swear, this place must be larger on the inside than it is on the outside. And they say that millennia of magic use has no consequences.
One eternity later.